Severe winter weather creates many challenges for North Carolina residents, slick roads, trapped cars, and electrical outages. But for North Carolina wildlife, frigid temperatures can be a matter of life and death. I took a drive to the Outer Banks to see what people are doing to protect one endangered species in crisis. The beach, a place for playing in the surf and hunting for shells. But seashells aren't what residents of this beach near Frisco are finding on the shore today. Turtles, many dead or dying, are washing up by the dozens, victims of what's called cold stunning. Recent blasts of winter weather caused an unexpected drop in temperatures near the Outer Banks, stunning hundreds of turtles into hypothermia. Unable to swim or defend themselves, they become easy prey or get stranded in the sand where they often die. Their only hope, year-round residents like Frank Wells. If we don't find them, they, they will not survive. Wells and other locals are taking their endangered friends into their own hands. We had very few losses out of, out of 350 turtles in two days at one point. Wells says this year's event is unparalleled. The most I ever found in one day up until this year was nine. With help from other people, we brought in uh, 63 turtles uh, in one day. Wells and other volunteers rush to the beach when someone spots surviving turtles. Green turtles can fit in your hand. These loggerheads require multiple volunteers and a truck. It's often visitors to the beach, not trained volunteers, who discover these turtles first. Volunteers rush to clean them, feed them, and warm them up, while vets treat injuries and illnesses. The work doesn't pay, but for many, saving the lives of these beautiful creatures is payment enough. Volunteers especially will stay here all day just to help us, <laughs> which is awesome. And they do that because they love the sea turtles. Until spring warms the waters again, those volunteers still have plenty of turtles to save. Because Nest is a nonprofit, donations are an easy way to help with the rehabilitation efforts. But for anyone who can travel to the Outer Banks, the group is always willing to train new volunteers for rescues.